welcome or welcome back as the case may be. If you're new to my channel, I post videos about American Girl dolls and the many, many ways my discovery of them as an adult has turned into a full-blown passion. So today I'm going to show you our dollhouse. Actually, it is one of three dollhouses, but that's a story for a different video. In this picture, you can see our one story, eight foot long, made by yours truly dollhouse, probably the very last day of August, so just prior to PSL season. Anyway, let me walk you through what we changed. Over here in the kitchen corner, we've got a fall sign hanging, which came from Target's bullseye section. You're going to hear me say that a lot. Um, we got a squirrel of unknown origins, some obligatory pumpkins we got last year, and this adorable cupcake stand my wife decorated for fall. Here is a close-up of that stand. I think it's actually a place card holder, and I do not recall where we got it. But I do know the whole thing was inspired by the Etsy shop Crafty Girls of Avon, and that's where the cute little miniature uh, pumpkin spice candle came from. They have a lot of different styles of that miniature candle and so many cute things in their shop, so I highly recommend checking them out. I will definitely link them in the description. Moving on, there is a little display next to the refrigerator. I know that the gnome on top is from Target and the squirrel on the right is from Joanne. The basket might be as well, but I'm not sure about everything else. I know the apples are for an upcoming apple picking photo shoot that we're planning and we literally scoured every single AG school lunch set, every baggie of off-brand foods we have, etc. to find all the apples, so hopefully it's enough. We didn't really change anything in the dining room. I'm thinking about sewing some fall colored chair cushions and a table runner, but it has not happened yet. So moving on to the living room or living space. I say living room, even though it's an open concept dollhouse. Anyway, living area. This is an American Girl tower with a mirror on one side, hooks on the other, and bookshelves on the remaining two sides. I know it's retired, but I got it cheap on Facebook Marketplace. Behind the shelves, the walls are actually a teal color. Teal obviously can work perfectly well with fall oranges, but in this case, it's just a hair too bright for my liking. So. I just cut out brown cardstock to temporarily change the background. The actual decorations are a combination of things we already own, like the alarm clock and pumpkins and the foliage and things we bought elsewhere. The little hedgehog next to the clock, the sea anemone looking thing underneath it, which I love, and the large acorn under that are all from Joanne. Oh, and on the left side of the picture, you can see these amazing drippy candles that are also from Joanne. Um, and the sign on the top of the tower came from Target. This thing right here is actually the coffee table in our living room. It's a picture frame I got from either Michaels or Joanne. And instead of putting a photo in it, I put fabric in it. So this is what it looks like most of the year. And here it is from the side. How cool is this thing? I kind of feel like it would look weird for such a small frame to stick this far out of the wall, but maybe I'm wrong. All I know is the second I saw it, I was like, boom, perfect coffee table. So here you can see the whole living room area put together. I replaced the fabric in the coffee table with brown cardstock since there are so many other competing patterns at the moment. And the smaller pillows are all ones I sewed last year. The throw on the couch is actually a scarf or a wrap from an outfit we bought. You can also see a pumpkin sign on the wall, which we got last year. And the sign on the fireplace is from Target's bullseye section. The rug is a placemat we also got last year, I think from Cost Plus World Market. Who knows, Buffalo plaid is popular enough, I'm sure you can find one anywhere. And it's not something we added for fall, but because I know people usually want to know, the couch, chair, and ottoman are from Etsy seller Cutie Pie Doll Clothing. Highly recommend her shop. Marilyn's work is stunning, and I will definitely link her shop in the comments. And here's Joss, looking cute as always and ready for fall. She fully approves of the pumpkinization of the dollhouse. And that's it. I hope that you liked the detailed walkthrough. If so, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you liked best in the comments. Also, make sure you subscribe and tap that notification bell so you'll know when I post a new video. Thanks for watching.